Hey guys, it's Sean here with GLE. I'm in Times Square with my new friend. Ian, nice to meet y'all. What's good? Eh? Uh, Jersey City repping. What's good? All right, I was just about to ask where you're from. <laughs> what are you doing here in Manhattan today? Oh, I'm just enjoying the beautiful weather, man. Um, you know, it's like we had beautiful weather yesterday, beautiful weather today. I'm like, I am not going inside my house today. Dude. Especially after a year long of being cooped up inside, I bet it feels really good, huh? Yeah. It's so fat. It's so crazy that year is already passed. You know, like. You could have been doing this whole thing last year, but COVID had to come in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by the little girl over there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually stopped me, Ian, because you thought that the conversation I was having with those guys over there was an interesting conversation. Yes, yes. Um, you guys, Did you want to talk about music a little bit? Um, well, do you have any questions in regards to like um, in regards to music and everything? Uh, for me? So I basically want to know how people feel about the way that the music industry is moving right now. Is it getting too dirty? Is it getting too sexual? Stuff like that. Um, for the dirty and sexual stuff, I know for the music entertainment, you know, their main is money. So, and sales is like, you know, one of the terms that we use, but it speaks for itself. So, I think that the music industry, so long as they keep making money by selling sex this way, they're gonna keep producing the same thing. Do you think it's gonna keep getting dirtier? Woo! I don't know how much dirty it can get before it turns up. <laughs> but, um, it's gonna be like audio porn. Oh my god, dude! But yeah, just some moans in the background. Oh, well, we got some musicians that do that already, you know? Yeah, like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, yeah, which man. I love both of them. Not gonna lie. Oh, come on, dude! Like the, the two of the sexiest women alive right now. Like, yeah. But um, agreed. So, do you think that it's always been this way, and we're just starting to notice now, or do you think it's actually getting progressively dirtier? I think it's getting progressively dirtier because if you look at music like from the 70s, let's say, they talked about soul. Like 80s and 90s, they talked about soul. Everything was just a lot of fun. And yeah, there was sex in it, but it, was, it wasn't like the end all be all. It was like, you know, a side factor for the fact of you living life and enjoying it. Are you worried about younger people possibly being influenced by music like this? Um, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a concern because, you know, they don't understand the. Um, they don't understand the importance, they don't understand the history behind the music and everything. You know, music is like always derived from somewhere else, you know, something bigger, something more grandeur and everything. Um, and if we, if they stay ignorant to that, then they're not really going to evolve as musicians. But what I will say is that the music today, it is kind of creating a segue for new artists, new of music and everything so as a musician like you have you have to enjoy that you have to you know find the beauty in that so yeah totally i just hope uh we can it's, you know the music is so controversial these days i hope that we can find some way to coexist and still allow people to make their music without canceling everybody who comes out with something that might be a little bit too explicit uh,